Okay, so when I talk about creating a habitat with a rectangle and a square, um, your other two habitats should be either a rectangle or a square. But one of your habitats needs to have both a rectangle and a square. So I'm going to try to draw this as best as I can. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Um, so let's say here's my habitat from one of my animals. And it's not going to be a perfect square or a rectangle because it's going to come like this. And then it's going to come over like this. Up. This is just may maybe what it might look like for one of your uh, animals that you've created that have been adapted to the island of XYZ. Um, but this is what I'm talking about with uh, the rectangle and the square. That are, There has to be a rectangle and a square. It doesn't have to look like this. You can make any sort of habitat that you want to. It just needs to have a rectangle and a square in it. And I guess these are actually two rectangles, aren't they, if I do this? That makes it two rectangles. So if I have to have a square, I suppose I have to count over two, four, six, two, four, six, and then that will be my square, because squares have equal sides. And then maybe this is my rectangle right here where um, it comes long. Maybe my animal is a snake. And so I have a long um, part of my habitat. So then I have a square and a rectangle in there. So you can see my square and then my rectangle. And that will be important to be able to figure out which part's the square and which part's the rectangle when we do area and perimeter in one of the next games.